about sustainable development, to think about how do I live my life every day in a way that minimizes my impact on the environment. I think of things like how often I drive. I work from home, so that means I'm not commuting every day and emitting a lot of fumes into the environment. The other thing I think about are basic things like recycling. Um, we recycle plastic and glass and paper and newspaper and all of those materials that when I was growing up, no one ever thought about recycling. The other thing I think about are all of the energy efficient appliances that we use in our home. So that would be low water consuming washers, efficient refrigerators. In fact, we just put in a new furnace that operates at a much higher efficiency level than our 40 year old furnace. Uh, recycling, very much into recycling everything that comes through our house. And I actually line dry my clothes as well on the deck. So I use the dryer as little as possible and I take the shopping bags to the supermarket so I don't use their paper or plastic bags and drive as little as possible. I walk my children to school every day. Yeah. Well, in general, I think when I think of development, I think of somebody who's building a building or something like that. And in fact, when where I live, nothing like that's going on and I'm not a builder by trade. But I think you can basically affect your environment around you by things you do. For instance, uh, in the local area, I live on a golf course. The golf course, when I initially moved there, used a lot of pesticides. They've actually, with urging from neighbors, have done things like reduce the pesticides to almost nothing or trying to do integrated pest management. We've actually eliminated smoking on the golf course. So things like that. So we've kind of tried to decrease pollution. Uh, in the home front, when we do things like painting a room, we try and use low or no um, organic compounds in the paint, a VOC, volatile organic compounds. And just in things like that, when we work out in our yard, even though it's rained 10 inches in the last 10 days here, uh, we actually have rain issues, we have water issues in the summer, and we try and do things, plant stuff that in fact will take little or no watering and is, is native to the area. So that I think is probably, in terms of what I do or what my family does, uh, is things that we do in terms of development. Chris? Hi. Hi. I manage energy conservation programs for schools uh, in California and we uh, help uh, fund projects that save energy. In what ways? These are projects that have more efficient lighting and energy controls for heating and ventilating the buildings. And so we pay for that so the schools can keep the money that they save on energy to hire more teachers and buy more books. Yes, I think so. I've, I've worked in that area for my whole career, and I do that at home. We recycle, we drive small cars, um, we are doing our best to support the environment. Definitely, definitely. You know, the world is maybe four or five billion years old, nobody really seems to know, but it's, it's growing and we've impacted it more in the last probably 100 years and maybe even the last 25 years than the previous, you know, billion or four or five billion years before Same that. Way, if we abuse the earth and do not fall at watch it, uh, as it ages, it's going to abuse us back by things that we now think of global warming, uh, you know, stronger storms that drop more rain, hotter summers that, you know, may totally make some areas of the world uninhabitable. So you definitely have to, you know, watch out. If you have children, you're especially aware of that because you think of maybe your grandchildren and if the world is not going to be a place that they can live in, maybe even the area you now live in may be above below water, uh, those are all very, very important things that make you focus in and say, hey, wait a second, I want to do what I can to keep this place the way it is now. Definitely, of course. I, I couldn't agree more. Why not? Okay, great. It's not only important that we act for our planet, it's really our duty um, to take care of the planet. And I say that because if we don't, who will? And what sort of planet will we leave for our children?